Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here coming to you, you from the Hobby Shed. Right, so this week's GW pre-order, it is a starter set. It's not A edition for 40k starter set, but it's another, let's say, re-release for Age of Sigma starter set. So hopefully everybody's enjoying their A edition starter sets. That would have been a cool box to get. Um, but kind of like a strange thing to follow up is a re-release of the Age of Sigma starter set, but with a few twists. Um, so we'll have a look at that, and then we, there is the Corgus Cull and Blood Secretor, and the Vandus Hammerhand models getting released individually, because previously they weren't available before, or they haven't been available by themselves up until the part of the starter set. So let's have a look at the Thunder and Thunder and Blood, a Warhammer Age of Sigmar starter set. Now this is pretty much the exact same as the starter set, except... Um, Corgus Cull, the Blood Secretor, and Vandus, Han Vandus Hammerhand isn't in it. Um, you get this, you get a gaming mat in it, and you get this little kind of little bit of cardboard terrain as well. And I think you get a bit more information in the books as well. I think there's paint tutorials in it, but I can't remember if that's in the f in the previous one that came out. But it's 65 euro. For what this box is, it's absolutely incredible. Um, if I didn't have the starter set, I'd be strongly thinking about getting this now. Um, well, let's just let's just have a look and see what's the contents or of what's inside of it. Um, oh, jeez, what am I doing? So just like the original starter set, you get two units of five liberators, three prosecutors, three retributors. Uh, I just have to remember which one is which of that. One Lord Relictor armed with Relic Hammer. Okay. Two units of Blood Reavers, five Blood Warriors, one Corgrath, and a Blood a blood Stalker. So that's the model that comes with it. It's exactly the same except without the two um hero models. Um, an easy to follow guide with the basic rules, four battle plans, eight war scrolls, um, then you have your paint tutorials, information on oh uniform guides. That's pretty cool. Uh, on six stormcast eternals and six corn bloodbound factions guides to your set little brushes. That's 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 pretty cool to have actually. That's a nice little addition. Guides to various techniques techniques on painting miniatures, undercoating uh undercoating base coating shading dry brushing layering and glazing. An explanation of technical paints. Um, so the book that comes with it seems to be full of information. Which, like this, to be honest with you, this is probably... Well, not, I haven't had a look at the new 8 edition of Starter Kit. But this box looks like the definitive box for getting started with Age of Sigmar. Or maybe just in Warhammer in general. Um, because it really has a lot of stuff that's very new person friendly which is like oh god i remember when i got the the island the blood starter box like that was an incredible box but imagine trying to introduce people with all them rules and everything um and here you go this has everything in it, it tells you the paint it tells you what the brushes are for the pants and everything are for well your layering and your different types of pants and everything so they've really come on a lot um the, the one thing that this does not do uh, is emphasize on this cardboard piece of terrain enough. I don't think there's a picture over here. I couldn't see one when I was going through it earlier. Um. Yeah, so you have your your models. The sprues are base colored already for you, and it well, they're colored sprues, which is really cool. And uh, instead of just having gray models, so you have your Gold for your Stormcast and the red for the corn. Uh, I suppose it's better than looking at grey. Uh, it kind of, it's separate from a visual aspect that really separates them from just having a quick look on the battlefield. It's really easy to tell which one is which. Um, there was one other thing. This There's two things that I can't find out what they are on this. One of them is this guy. I cannot see what... This guy is part of... He's not in the box. I can't... He's just... Just like a random 360 picture of him here. He's not in any other pictures. 
I, I, I can't think of off the top of my head what this model is. What, Eunice? He wasn't with the original starter set. Um, but he has a 360 view on this. I'm trying to see what's this on his base. But anyway, there is Ultra Skull. And he's not the only one that's part of this. Uh, the corn side has, I think it's not a Blood Warrior. And they're called Blood Reavers. And with the Blood Warriors, it's this guy that isn't part of the original set. And I can't find any more pictures of him. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of them guys have helmets on him. This guy doesn't. He's in a different pose from the rest of them. And I don't know if he's part of this box or not. It doesn't say. I can't see him in any more pictures. But there's a 360 view of him here. If you want to look at him. But all the other models in this box are fantastic. The corn ones are unreal they are incredible i absolutely love the corn side of these i was never really into the chaos stuff a whole lot well apart from skaven but it was these models the blood uh bloodbound models that really got me into the, the kind of the chaos side then you have your battle mat doesn't say what size i'd imagine it's two by four by the looks of it actually let's see can we get some information on this mat Hmm, let me see. There's a little bit of information on the very bottom, but not a whole lot. Uh, double sided gaming mat, two foot by four, maybe. Um, representing different areas of the modern realms, realms. Then you get other stuff, your transfer sheets, and an internal box tray doubles up as a scenery piece. Like, put that up in front, put that on the top, let people know that there is a little bit of terrain in this box you have your cardboard terrain like it's very easily missed if you don't have a good look at the picture and like there's no other pictures of it here but a 65 euro i know from first hand what these models are like they're all really nice looking Um, they go together really easily the corn guys are how they're made i'm trying to get a word but how they're created, it's like an arm and like a part of the body is one piece. It's not just like a body, two arms and a head stick them on. It's like part of, or the arm part of a body, which is like connected to like a leg and a part of another part. It's they're really cool, but the models are fantastic. 65 euro, I think is a really good price for this. Um, you're not getting the two uh, leader guys, the two heroes, but it's still a very good price. Um, speaking of heroes, let's move on to Corgus Cull and the Blood Secretor. Now, Corgus Cull is my favourite model out of this, the original starting box. Um, even without the Hound, he's still badass. Um, the Blood Secretor is really good. These guys are full of so much detail. It is incredible. Like You have to remember, these are starter, uh, starter set models, you know. Uh, the, Blood Secretor has full of detail and his head is kind of like stitched across with like flesh and everything going around it. Well he has flesh on his head but um, it's like it's like stitched together from different parts of flesh. Uh, Corgus Cull. His helmet is like it's like a skull. When you, I was I, I think everyone thought when you look at Corgus Cull it's a skull. He has a, His head is a skull like but it's a helmet as you can see from here which is fantastic. I haven't got around to painting this guy yet. Um, but I will be soon enough. These two guys is <laughs> just two ways of looking at it. It's thirty two fifty for two models, two hero models that are full of detail. They're awesome looking. They're incredible models. Um, but it's thirty two fifty for two starter models as well that come in the starter kit. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, no, two models isn't too bad. Compared to what Vandis Hammerhand is, he's near enough the same price, you know, it's just for one model. I think maybe like 25, I think, would have been more than enough. For the, I suppose if you think about it, you are getting three models. You get the Blood Secretor, you get Corgus Cull, and then you want to get the Hound as well, if you want to put him on the base. Like, I'm putting him on the base with, this, with Corgus Cull, but I want to build him up higher and put him on a different part of the base. I don't want him holding him like that. So... I I wish the price was a little bit cheaper for this, but the two of them are incredible. Corgus Cull is one of my favourite models I have. 
Um, the, the, and the more I look at the blood secretor, the more I'm look thinking, like there's so much stuff on him. It's awesome. Look at that big corn banner thing, and the bone going up around it. That's awesome. So that's Corgus Cull and the blood secretor. Then we move on to Vandis Hammerhand. It's a nice model. I like him, but I'm just not mad on him. I don't know. I think I think it's when I see a Stormcast Eternal on a mount. To me, it just doesn't look right. I don't know what it is. I think I think that's what it is. But the model itself is really cool when you when you when you have it in your hand and you're looking at it, you're like, oh, it, it is really cool. Um, but I think it's just a Stormcast on a mount is kind of. A thing that turns me off it a little bit. The Drac Dracotian thing is pretty cool. Um but there is one slight little problem with this model, and I wonder if it's fixed when they start doing the sprue for this one. Is when you're gluing him, he goes together, he's tricky to put not tricky or hard, he's just he's not very straightforward to put together, I think is the best way to put it. And when you're doing it, there's this there's a gap here. I wish I I don't know where my model for him is. I wish I had it here to show you. But, and everyone said this when they first got it. There's like a gap around here between the neck and the Stormcast guy. Or, Van the hand. And it's a pretty big gap. It's not really noticeable until you like pick it up and have a good look at it. But it's a pretty sizable gap. Like, it's not a huge gap. like, But, it's not like a small thing either. But, from this, from what they're showing here, it looks like it's... It's fixed, you know. So hopefully that's sorted out for this new model. But yeah, I just I don't know. I can't say that I really really like it. I like everything on it individually looks really nice. The mount looks really cool. I don't know. It's just the Stormcast guy just looks out of to me. He looks out of place on it. I don't know, maybe the armor looks too big and clunky. It doesn't look too practical me, it, to me. It doesn't look like he can... He's flexible. He's able to move around as much, you know, on the mount. Too much armor on him. Um, 32.50. It's pricey. But it's a cool model. If you really like your Stormcast Eternal, you'll, you'll probably end up liking him as well. Box looks massive. I don't know why there's such a, like, a big box for like one sprue. But anyway... Thunder and Blood. That that's a weird name. Thunder and Blood. It's like two random words. Not. It's like two action random words. Thunder and Blood. Stormcast Thunder. Blood. Corn Blood. I suppose. <laughs> anyway, I've been rambling enough on here. Um, if you guys like this, let me know in the comment section. I think it's a really good release this week, especially Cargus Cull and a Blood and the Blood Secretor. I really like them models. Um. 65 euro for this set, I think it's well worth it, absolutely well worth it, the models themselves are worth that, but anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below, make, the hit, make sure to hit the like button, and subscribe, and once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.